So is exercise really important for managing type 2 diabetes? I mean, why not just rely on medications and forget about breaking your sweat, right? So I'm Dr. Stream, a board certified family medicine, sports medicine doctor practicing in the United States. So in this video, I'm going to tell why exercise is so important for managing type 2 diabetes and why it can be a game changer. Without further ado, let's get started. So before we dive into the topic of exercise for diabetes, let's first understand type 2 diabetes insulin resistance. So type 2 diabetes is due to two things. So one, there is insulin resistance. The other most important thing is that the pancreas is unable to meet the demands of the insulin resistance. So let's say when you have insulin resistance, you need more insulin. But let's say the pancreas is not able to produce that more insulin, then eventually the blood sugar grows up. So let's understand how one develops insulin resistance or what is insulin resistance. So let us say you eat too many refined carbohydrates like bread or sugar. Our insulin secretes from pancreas to keep the blood sugar down. So some of the glucose gets used up by the exercising muscles. The rest of the glucose gets stored in the muscle and liver and the excess glucose after that, they get converted into fat. So we all have fat stores in our body. So there are fat stores that are present outside the organ that is called as the subcutaneous fat. And the fat stores that surround the organ which is called as the visceral fat. So we just don't understand why one develops insulin resistance and one doesn't. The prevailing theory is that we all have different levels, different amount of fat stores in our body. So for example, let us say we have one person has like five bags of fat stores on the subcutaneous fat. The other person might have only three bags of subcutaneous fat. So once they fill that three bags of subcutaneous fat, the rest of the fat just goes around the organs. And our body doesn't like that, which is why our body starts developing insulin resistance. So basically our body says that, you know what, we cannot just keep putting the fat around the organs, so we need to stop this from happening. And this leads to insulin resistance, thereby causing the pancreas to put uh, to secrete more insulin to overcome the insulin resistance and thereby this diabetes develops eventually because the pancreas is not able to keep up the demands of the insulin resistance. So now that we've understood the problem, let's understand how exercise is going to be a game changer for diabetes. So when it comes to exercise, there are two main types. Cardiovascular exercise, or also called as cardio or aerobic exercise, and the other one is resistance training or strength training. So both of these forms of exercise have their own unique benefits and can contribute to diabetes management. Now let us first talk about aerobic exercise or cardiovascular exercise. So running, walking, jogging, biking, swimming, elliptical, rowing, jumping jacks. So these are all like few examples of aerobic exercise. So now I'm exercising, so I'm walking. So let us assume that I have type 2 diabetes and my last A1C was around like 9.0, which means that my average blood sugar is around like 212 or so. So let us assume that my uh, pre-exercise blood sugar is around 200 and my waist circumference is around like 36 inches, which means that I have a lot of fat that is surrounding the organs right now. And now I'm planning to go for a 60 minute walk at a steady pace, around like light to moderate intensity exercise. So let us understand how exercise is going to help me right now. So right now, as I'm walking, my muscles are doing a lot of work. Some muscles are contracting, relaxing so that I can propel forward. Some muscles are making sure that I, I'm pretty stable while I'm walking. So in order for the muscles to um, do the work, they need energy. And the energy is going to come from oxygen and a fuel source. The fuel source can be either from a glucose or it can be from a stored fat. So research has consistently shown that Exercise plays a vital role in targeting fat around the organs as opposed to just the subcutaneous fat, which is the fat outside the organs. As we have discussed, visceral fat is the biggest contributor to insulin resistance. So my muscles are utilizing glucose from the bloodstream without even requiring insulin. My blood sugar will likely become normal as I finish exercising. I'm also giving rest to the pancreas. You know why? Because the muscles can absorb glucose without the need for insulin while you're exercising. So let us say I increase the intensity of my workouts to a more moderate level. The body starts burning a combination of both glucose and fat in equal proportions. As I deplete the available glucose in my bloodstream and muscles, the liver steps in by releasing more glucose, resulting in greater storage capacity for glucose in both liver and muscle post-exercise. You're not burning a lot of calories by just walking 60 minutes daily, right? But the body doesn't know that. All the body knows is that you're depleting some amount of glucose from the liver and then the muscles, and thereby the body's focus is to recover from it. The insulin resistance is a big barrier for the body to recover, so the body is going to become insulin sensitive. But it's not going to do it for a while. It's probably uh, going to become insulin sensitive for the next 24 to 48 hours. 
But let us say if you exercise regularly, like every day or every other day, then the insulin sensitivity improvement continues. But um, so this way, you can just cut back on your medications too for your diabetes because you're becoming insulin sensitive and there is no need for a lot of medications to pump, the, pump more insulin. In addition, let us say you couple that with bringing less calories in, which means that you're eating less, creating a calorie deficit, then you can eventually burn the subcutaneous fat and the visceral fat and thereby the diabetes will improve and your insulin resistance will improve. We know that once you reverse insulin resistance, the diabetes management is going to become very easy. You'll be delighted to see your pancreas reawakening as you successfully reverse the insulin resistance and it becomes easier to keep your blood glucose under control. Now let us talk about resistance training or strength training and how strength training can help improve diabetes. So let us say I engage in activities like push-ups. I'm actually creating small tears in my muscle fibers. But here's the exciting part. When I rest, our body repairs those tears and makes my chest muscles bigger and stronger. So here's where it gets interesting. So when I have more muscle tissue, I have extra room to store glucose before that extra glucose turns into fat. This is important because we know that excess glucose storage in the liver and fat can lead to problems with controlling diabetes. So as we age, we naturally lose muscle mass. So what that means is that if my energy expenditure remains the same, and if my calories in, so basically what I take in, my calories in, if it remains the same, unfortunately, the diabetes will get worse over time. But there is good news. By incorporating strength training into your routine, you can preserve muscle mass and prevent diabetes from progressing as you age. Even if you don't have access to a gym, you can still get started with strength training at home. I've attached a playlist of home strength training program that will take you from beginner to advanced level. So finally, do you know what is a major killer in patients with diabetes? Heart disease is a leading cause of death in individuals with diabetes. However, there is hope. Regular exercise has been shown to strengthen the heart and improve overall fitness. By prioritizing exercise and physical activity, we can protect ourselves from this deadly threat. So if you're interested in understanding how exercise improves one's fitness, then watch this video here. If you want to get started with the home strength training program, then make sure that you watch the playlist here, okay? I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. If you really like this video, I'm going to ask you a small favor. Can you please hit the like button? And if you really like this type of content, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.